Hello gentlemen and ladies, it's me, Terran432, and welcome to my fourth, maybe fifth tent talk? I don't know. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about Thumper. Um, well, that that is Thumper, but not the one I'm going to be talking about. Um, now this is Thumper. What you're seeing right now is some gameplay from the 2017 hit rhythm violence action game uh, Thumper by Drool, a two-person indie game, indie team by Brian Gibson and Mark Flurry. Uh, they worked on this game for like nine years, and uh, I must say it's it's a pretty good game. Oh, you want to know why it's a good game? Uh, well, uh. Now, before I tell you why this is a great game, I should probably just describe to you what kind of game it is in the first place. Jewel decided to describe their first game with the genre title of Rhythm Violence, already setting a dark and undeniably cool tone. This idea of rhythm violence expands in almost every aspect of the gameplay, but on the purest form in terms of this game, it refers to the highly immersive and brutal feel of the game. Since this is something based on feeling the game, let's just take a look at some clips. This is a video from the very first level, and as you can see, you're a beetle. You know this beetle is ready for action from his armor, and with the scraping against the track below, his speed is efficiently illustrated. Now we have a triangle. To the tribal drum beats, the triangle sends notes at us. We hit the notes back. The slowdown effect demonstrates the resistance provided by the beetle, refusing to be swept away by these powerful notes, and causing visible damage to the triangle, felt in the rest of the environment around it. The psychedelic void continues to provide pain, anxiety, and darkness as the beetle speeds by, while the triangle limps along, continuing to provide the hard beat of a heartbeat and the beat of a song. What did that even mean, I don't know. Now with one final thump, the triangle is destroyed into a billion little pieces. Something that is irrelevant to the beetle, who continues to speed by. As for me though, I'm starting to feel like one of those English descriptive audio tracks for blind people. But I'm perfectly content to continue doing that. As for now, here's some more mechanics from the game, which continues to get more quote-unquote violent as it goes on. As the beetle, you must make incredibly sharp turns at a fast pace in order to avoid being shredded into thousands of pieces that the track continues on without you. Meanwhile, a ring of death punishes you with lasers should you fail to miss any of the blue notes. Despite incredibly simple controls, there's only one button and then your directional keys, Thumper is a very difficult game. However difficult the game is though, it is not so difficult to be unreachable, at least not being able to finish the main campaign. Once a player is able to understand the beat and the insanely fast time signatures of each level, completing them becomes less of a challenge and more of an exhilarating experience as the game puts you inside of a trance, and also on the inside of a beetle the latter of which I pray is a new experience for the gaming population. The keyword from the previous sentence being beetle, and the keyword from the sentence before the previous sentence being experience, brings me to my next point. Quite different from what might normally be described as music, Thumper lacks melodies in favor of a mix of droning, percussion, and a crap ton of bass if you have very nice speaker systems. Most tracks are actually rather quiet when put into comparison with the sound effects of turning and going through barriers and killing bosses. Now we turn to the visuals. Similar to the soundtrack, they are quite minimal, and one might even call them boring, just as someone might refer to the Aurora Borealis boring while standing in the midst of a forest fire while on hallucinogens. The flashing lights of the points you win, the metal armor scraping against the walls, and the giant bosses exploding are all very hectic and intense. And sounds complement these perfectly. Painful sounds for breaking your shell, satisfying ones for killing the bosses. Everything leads to the gameplay. 
That's not to say that it's all hectic and intense, though. In between certain sections, there are slower moments to emphasize the surroundings, and you stretch your hands to avoid carpal tunnel and blood clots, as well as to blink your eyes. These are beautiful for some, but most definitely not relaxing. With the tentacles surrounding you, it can only increase the claustrophobia and anxiety that the game continually presents. Then it is right back into the action. Now, I would love to talk about the story of Thumper, but in all honesty, there really isn't that much there. You're a beetle going down the hostile track while in pursuit of this pyramid, with this giant head called Crackhead always close behind it. That's... that's it. That's the story. I can speculate all you want, but there, there really isn't a story. Uh, the ending is really cool, and that's all I really want to say about that. If you want to see it, <laughs> you have to beat the game, or just look it up on YouTube. There's no real thematic statements or grand moral of this story, it's just a classic arcade game. You go in, wreak havoc, don't die, and high score. High score. That leads me to my next topic. I first got this game, I thought the platinum trophy for S rank on all levels would be enough, but I went out to do it anyways. I really thought that I'd be done with this game after that, but uh, I ended up getting the S rank on all levels, got the trophy, got the platinum, bought the game again on Steam, and then I discovered Play Plus mode, and I'm still playing, months later. No checkpoint respawns, increased speed with combos, essentially the hard mode, arcade style. I, I make this video to warn you gentlemen and ladies, do not purchase this game. Not only could you die of a seizure, but much worse, you could, you can infect yourself with the goal that you can be number one on the leaderboards and, and, and then the beetle, it'll start to infect your dreams, your life, you'll go to, you'll go to, you'll go to work, you'll go to school, you'll just close your eyes and you'll see the beetle. And it'll be terrible, so, for, <laughs> if you value anything in your life, do not purchase this game. It is one of the worst games I've played, and my favorite of this summer. So yeah, gentlemen and ladies, this is, this is Tenran432, I'm done with this video. And I'll never be done with this game. So yeah. Peace and sheep. I'll see you guys whenever I recover from... Uh, whenever I recover from thumperitis. So yeah. Bye bye